day number 27 on my Colorado trail through hike. Oh, I'm probably gonna be saying this all week, but I can't believe we're so far into the month and this hike is almost over, just a few days left. I seriously can't believe it. It's gone by so fast. Oh, it's been such an amazing adventure. And of course got a few days left and I'm in what is supposed to be one of the most beautiful parts of Colorado, the San Juan Mountains. At least I think we're there. We may not be quite there, but we're just in Lake City and Lake City touts itself as being in the heart of the San Juan Mountains. So I think that we are in that mountain range now. And if we're not there, we're very close. <laughs> I've only been in the San Juans one other time and I was absolutely blown away. So it's already super pretty, super, super pretty around here. So I am thrilled to be here. The signs of fall are starting to pop up with some red grasses and red plants and yellow plants. It's like, ooh, fall is coming to the mountains very, very soon. We've got about 22 miles we're planning to hike today so that we can take a half day in Silverton tomorrow. We were just in Lake City, so it's not that I really feel like I need to be in town again, but it does mean that we have to carry less food which means less weight since we're going to town again so soon, which is awesome. And then my friends, Alicia and Seth, are gonna be in Silverton this week. So I'm gonna get to see them. They're my really close friends from DC when I used to live in DC. And Seth is the part owner of the historic Avon Hotel and Hostel in Silverton, which is where we're gonna be staying. So I'm pumped to support his business. I've been there once before with Alicia and Seth, and that's the other time I've been to the San Juan Mountains, and I really loved Silverton and the surrounding area. So I'm happy to go back. And once I'm there, I'll have to give you guys a tour of the Avon. It's a really, really cool historic hotel. And it's just a cool town. And I haven't seen Alicia and Seth in, I think a couple years now. They moved out to Boise, Idaho from DC, right around the time that I moved out of DC to go do the AT. And of course, then there was the pandemic and they had a baby last December. So, um, you know, visiting them when they have a baby during the pandemic seems a little, a little iffy, but things seem to be winding down. So anyway, I'm really excited to see them. It's been way too long and I'm just really happy to be in this part of Colorado, out of cow country, back in the mountains, and it's just spectacularly beautiful out here. I am loving it. So onward into day 27. Ooh, why you gotta be so cute? See ya. <laughs> Saw a couple of moose in one of those ponds last night, so Ibex can finally see Colorado moose are real. We've been seeing signs of fall, but we still got a few summer wildflowers hanging on. I love being above tree line where you can see where the trail unfolds in front of you. Look at these fall colors. Oh, look at these strange rock formations. Like what the heck are these? Listen, you hear that? So there was an ultra marathon, a hundred mile race following the trail over the weekend. We saw some of the runners and this is kind of funny. This is where they break off from the trail. So it's like, don't go this way, wrong way. Oh gosh, this is so pretty. How is this real? Also look at that marmot. The 
this lake is so clear. There's lots of little minnows swimming around. Look at that reflection. Wowzas. Can you spot the marmots? All I have to say is, wow. I got a baby. Oh, little baby. It is Marmot Central around here. Look at all these small colors. Look at all this white dirt. Interesting. So bright. So many gorgeous views today. And so many ups and downs, ups and downs. Not a bad spot for a lunch break. <laughs> like we might be joining up with a jeep road up here or at least going alongside it there's some off-road vehicles coming down the hill yep we are joining the jeep road for a little bit got an old miner's cabin here and then a bunch of mine run off up there. You see that orange street coming down the hill? These crickets are so big and so ugly. Okay, so I've been hearing that there are flocks of sheep that roam around up here with sheep dogs, and I've yet to see any, but I've been seeing what I think are droppings today, and I thought I smelled cows earlier, and Ibex pointed out it was probably sheep, and I think way up on the mountain over there, I see some sheep. Way up on top of that mountain over there. You see those shapes? I bet those are sheep. I'm not sure I go up there or not, though. We shall see. As I'm getting closer, I can see their fluffy white bodies. They are definitely, definitely sheep. And this, I assume, is a sheep dropping. There they are. like these bugs are having a powwow on these flowers. Hmm. Got another lake. Compliments to whoever did the trail work right here. Really lovely. Well, would you look at that? We're saying goodbye to the CDT. Goodbye, CDT. Because we took the Collegiate West route, we've been following the CDT for over 300 miles. But no longer. Ooh, there's a couple of cabins down there. Also, just look at this scenery. This is freaking crazy.
Whoa, with this side too, super beautiful. Oh my gosh, these flowers are so vibrant. Look at those switchbacks ahead going down the mountain. <laughs> Seriously, how is this real? Okay, something is digging. Literally, I just saw dirt being pushed out of here. What's happening? It's looking like we're very close to the end of wildflower season. Look at that, a mine right on the side of the trail. We're having a movie night and watching Cannibal the Musical about the Lake City Cannibal. We're still up at about 12,000 feet, so I can't help being exposed at camp, but dang, this is a pretty campsite. And now we're heading down the mountain to Silverton. Really interesting rock formations in this area. I need a geologist. Look at all these plants. What a change from yesterday's grasslands. And trees. Colorado Trail, day number 28. We are heading to Silverton today. Silverton's an old mining town. It's small, it's very old west, it's super cute. I'm not quite ready to go to town yet. We, you know, we've only been out of Lake City for two days. But I am excited to see Silverton again and of course see my friends Alicia and Seth meet their son and I really hope that on this trip they brought their really adorable golden doodle Haley because I could definitely use some puppy love. So we have 13 miles to hike. Looks like a pretty chill day. We're only going to have like 1500 feet of elevation gain. Unfortunately that's at the end of the 13 miles but what are you going to do? Yesterday was incredible. It was definitely one of the prettiest days of the hike so far, if not the prettiest. Just insanely, insanely, insanely beautiful. Last night we hiked behind an old miner's cabin that had fallen down. Not a bad spot, although there was a little bit of broken glass and some rusty <laughs> nails around camp that we had to watch out for, but otherwise really, Nice place to camp, great views. We were up above 12,000 feet and pretty exposed, which we try not to do. But alas, we were up above 12,000 feet, I think for the entire day yesterday. And we did hike 22 miles. So we weren't really looking to hike any further last night. And the next campsite down that we saw on far out said that it was covered in avalanche debris. So it wasn't gonna be ideal. Oh, uh, hang on, I'm gonna show you. I think there's some of that right here. Look at all that, yuck. Anyway, it worked out totally fine. My tent was actually dry for the first time in I don't know how long, which is crazy. We just had so much rain on this trail, but the last few days have been absolutely beautiful and the weather forecast for the rest of the trip looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm like, <coughs> so I'm like this, this is the Colorado I've been waiting for. <gasps> anyway, just gonna enjoy the beautiful scenery on the way down to Silverton today. And yeah, let's get into day 28. This is bananas, you guys. Look at all that. By the way, funny story. We, uh, we left the CDT yesterday, which we've been following for over 300 miles, right? And Ibex <laughs> took the wrong turn at the junction and she kept following the CDT. She must want to go down to Mexico. So she did like an extra 1.2 miles on our, one, on our 22 mile day. She laughed at me when I got lost last week or the week before, whenever that was. So I got to laugh at her this time. Especially because it was like, oh, she's trying to follow the CDT. She wants to do the CDT. 
I don't blame her. I don't want this trail to end, especially now that I really feel like my trail legs have come in, feeling really fit and really good. And now the sun's out. I do not want this trail to end. I don't know what these are, probably very poisonous, but I just love the color. I think they're so beautiful. Speaking of campsites, this would have been a lovely one. This is just so completely different than what we hiked through yesterday. It's so crazy. This mushroom is so cute. What a beautiful field. Ooh, we got raspberries. Oh yeah. So rocky. So, so rocky. Oof, more avalanche debris. Lovely. Look at this beautiful flowery mountainside. Love it. So apparently you can hitch a ride to Silverton via a train that runs from Durango to Silverton once a day. You can take this off trail here, go down and flag down the train and it costs $35 to get to Silverton. We're not doing that, but it sounds really fun. There's the railroad tracks. Also look at all the mining runoff in that creek, like it's so red and orange. I guess we gotta follow the tracks for a little while. Dory has decided he's gonna walk next to the train tracks all the way to Silverton. Ibex and I are not. We are taking the trail. Apparently this is the Animus River and it's very, very polluted from a mining accident. Not gonna lie to you guys, the climb up from the railroad tracks Super duper sucks. We have a few miles uphill to get to the trailhead to jump off for Silverton. So if you weren't gonna stop in Silverton, you could stop at the Mullis Lake campground instead. Get a shower, go to the campground store. I was kind of hoping it was closed. I was gonna grab a soda, but I guess I'll just get one in Silverton. So pretty out here. Also, there's the road over there that'll take us to Silverton. Yeah. There's Silverton down there. We are here. I'll give you guys a tour later. Ibex, what are we cheersing to? To 400 miles. To 400 miles. <laughs> okay, we had pizza. I didn't take a video, but now we're having dessert pizza. He thinks that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a special delivery at the Avon Hotel from our friend Head Chef. Yay! Thank you, Head Chef. <laughs> Thank you, Head Chef. If you guys watch my channel, you will have seen my interview with Chef. He was one of our AT family members. We hiked with him from Georgia all the way up to Maine, and he lives in Hawaii. So apparently, there's some good Hawaiian snacks in here. So let's open the box and find out what we got. So I'm a vegetarian, as you guys know, and 
chef is a huge meat eater, so I feel like there's going to be a lot of meats in here. <laughs> I hope so. I next eat some meats. Then, As a so. non-vegetarian. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Oh, we got a note. Aww. Hi, everyone. Super jealous of your hike. Looks incredible. Enjoy it. I tried to send some things you can only find in Maui. Some good, some weird. <laughs> Treats on the trail are always best. Lots of ideas. Yeah. Um, when he says he has ideas, that means feelings. Feelings. I mean, he loves this. <laughs> yeah. But he won't ever say it. <laughs> Oh, Maui cookies. Ooh, immediately yeah. excited. Oh my god. We got Maui cookies with white chocolate and macadamia nut. Macadamia Yum. nut is the fattiest of nuts. Yeah. So we need that. More and Maui more cookies. cookies. Delightful. Coconut macadamia nut shortbread. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yes. <gasps> coffee macadamia nuts. Oh, goodness. We're huge coffee people, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, what the heck is this? Jeez. What is this? Oh, I'm gonna eat some of that like Little now. Little ch chocolate covered macadamia and crisp rice. Yes, is everything please. macadamia? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we'll pick those up in a second. Island Max chocolate lovers chocolate covered macadamia. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing a trend. I'm seeing a trend. I'm seeing a trend. This is really trend. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shredded mango. Yum. Oh, heck yeah. Lemon strips. I <laughs> don't know what that is. I don't but, either, but okay. there's lemon and sugar in it, and I love lemon stuff. <laughs> Surfer's breakfast, dark chocolate topped with tasty granola and real coffee. Oh yes, my please. Gosh, that sounds really good. Oh my gosh. Oh, dark chocolate macadamia. <laughs> and toasted coconut milk chocolate macadamia. Oh that sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. It's all. Oh my gosh. Chef really, really loves me. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how much I love sugar and candy and chocolate. Wow. Oh, too thanks. bad for you, Ivex. Too bad for me, no meats, but he I, love you I also much. love chocolate, so it'll be all right. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. We have lots of ideas about you as well. So many ideas.